What's going on, YouTube? Yeah, about the sixth or seventh time I've been in the house. Seems like every time I try to leave, go to work or go somewhere, I forget something. <sighs> so, heading to work after missing yesterday. Still haven't gotten the hot water heater figured out yet. Had a guy come out earlier today, said he's supposed to get back in touch with me about a quote. I mean, I know it's hard, easy to put a hot water heater in. I've done it multiple times. We're just trying to come up with the most efficient type of hot water heater. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So. I think we've uh, settled on something, but it's a matter of figuring out if we can do it or not. Uh, we're moving away from the uh, tankless water heater because of the cost involved with uh, installing it. You gotta run a whole bunch of electrical. Uh, the research that I've done indicates that you have to run three lines 220 to the, uh, the heater unless you're going with gas and we can't go with gas because our supply line is too small so <laughs> that's where we stand right now but I did check our local utilities uh, Tennessee Valley Authority I checked their website to find out what they uh, what their thoughts were on different hot water heaters because I just don't I really don't like the idea of going back with a traditional hot water heater because they're just traditionally they haven't been really that efficient now they're getting better but it's still old technology that's been around for however many years hundreds of years I guess I don't know but uh I have stumbled across something I think that might be of interest to other people. Uh, it's what is called a heat pump hot water heater and it uses the ambient air to draw, it draws the heat out of the ambient air and uses that as a source for heating the water. Uh, it all depends on where you're putting it, of course. but where we're putting it, it goes in with the uh, the furnace, the, the heating and air conditioning, and so the benefit of it is that several. One, it's a tank, and it sits in the same footprint, hooks up the same exact way that a, uh, a tank water heater would, uh, uses the same uh, inlets and outlets and electrical source, so that's, that's a plus right there, uh, so no added expense changing everything out, running extra electrical, and no, no running or upgrading the gas lines or anything like that, so that's a plus. Um, and according to the TVA website, it draws the heat out of the air in the summertime, and so our air conditioning, the side benefit of that is our air conditioning would work a lot better. Also draws moisture out of the air at the same time. Uh, and that's the benefit during the, in, during the winter months. It draws the moisture out and uh, helps the air heat and cool better during those times when you need those benefits. Okay. So, uh, the drawback to it. A regular tank water heater you can find those things everywhere these heat pump water heaters <laughs> uh, well the local box store told me that it would be 15 days two weeks to get one to my house I don't know 
I know that I can't do 15 days or two weeks of cold water baths, cold water showers, heating up water for uh, um, uh, the bathtub on the stove. Uh, so, uh, local buddy of ours, uh, my wife actually went to school with him, he's a plumber. He's going to look around and see what he can come up with as far as the, this heat pump water heater. We'll find out. Probably more information than you ever wanted or needed as far as heating water sources. <laughs> That's just what I'm dealing with right now, okay? So, I apologize if it's not your interest uh, doesn't sound like a chainsaw, doesn't run like a chainsaw, doesn't make noise like a chainsaw, uh, or a motorcycle, or anything like that, but that's just what I'm having to deal with right now, so <clears throat> bear with me. We will be back to chainsaws and motorcycles, and loud, manly things, but... Okay, I'm going to cut it off right here. I've got to drive. i got to get to work. Don't want to. You know the drill. Subscribe to my, with my new little button. Like. And uh, comment. Always comment. Always comment. Leave, leave plenty of comments. I love them. I like them. Before I leave, let me give a uh, shout out to Arbor and 45. Mackenzie, you're a, you're, you're a good guy. Love you, brother. All right. And um, be looking for an uh, email from me. Uh, you and a couple other guys, I have an idea I'm tossing around, so let's see what we can do. But y'all have a good day. Take care. Be kind. Love you. Bye.